In this video, we will take a look at compliance testing the nano server. The steps here will apply to the micro server and similarly on the Linux implementations too. So right now we're in Windows Visual Studio 2013. The nano server will make sure is the default project. I'll just hit Control F5 to launch the application. It's already compiled drag the window over and I'm going to switch to the CTT so I actually have a project here that I created previously if I go to the settings you click the import button and then you can navigate to the directory where the source code is installed and under the resources folder you'll find the nano server CTT configuration file so if you click open the endpoint and all of the other settings and the node IDs for testing will all be pre-configured. So we'll click OK. And now we need to go to the Profiles tab. We'll scroll down and we'll choose the Nano Embedded Device Server. And if we go look at the conformance units, we can see everything that's selected. So now we're ready to do the test. So let's click the start button. And I expect this test to fail because we've not configured everything necessary yet to make this succeed. So let's let the test continue. And while it's doing that, I will open the directory. And we need to navigate to the actual location, which is in the bin, Win32, VS2013, nano and then we're working on the release configuration and the certificate store is the cause of our problems currently so let's go into there and then the certs directory and we'll note that the ctt is missing from the trust list so i have the ctt open in a different window so i will come and paste the certificate there it is. So now if I go back to the CTT, now that the test is complete, I can run the test again. And when we get the result this time, everything should be successful. And at the end of the test, there are no failures. If you need to use the CTT and test the Linux server, then if it's on a different machine, you can just go into the settings and again, you can change the endpoint location, put an IP address or a host name there. But the most important thing to remember when getting the CTT to work is to make sure its certificate is in the trust list of your application. 